Hello G fans, this is Damien for Universe G and in my last video I talked about the controversy with the Godzilla toy that was released and another issue, or not really issue, but another uh, conversation piece which had been kind of heated uh, in terms of Godzilla's phys physicality have been his feet. Well, it's an interesting subject and, and I wanted to hit, hit a little bit on it because if you remember uh, in, in the initial uh, ideas or designs that were being talked about Godzilla, um, they were, uh, were going to base Godzilla of actual natural factors. In other words, his development, uh, if possible, would be in a natural way to to determine his physicality. Well, if we think about it, Godzilla is a huge creature. Um, in reality, we know there's such a creature based on physiological and uh, other other factors. Uh, he would not be able to exist because he would just be too large, and uh, the world that we live in would not support uh, him to survive. Uh, whether he was a nuclear power plant. Uh, or whatever his physical his body it would just be too large and too heavy to that it, his his skeletal bones would not be able to support it anyway but if we look, think about it if it's, if possible if he was a large creature of such a size and uh, let's let's relate it to in architecture if you notice uh, columns uh, and we look at ancient uh, you know architecture they, they built huge columns because their structures were made of stone of very heavy materials and we noticed that the big the bigger the buildings were the bigger were the columns the, the width of the columns if you look at, at the foot of the columns they were very 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 wide so to support all the weight that the column would have to support and what would happen was that it would distribute those uh, thousands and those I mean those hundreds of thousands of pounds of, of uh, uh, or tons and distribute it uh, in a better way so the building could be supported. Uh, if we relate that to the reality of, of, of uh, Godzilla, then it would work almost the same way. The bigger he would be, uh, it would be better for his legs to be bigger and the base of, of his feet to actually be wider and not as a human foot would work because we are more of a, loco a locomotive kind of creature because we are bipedal and our feet are distributed in a way to balance our weight as we walk, as we prepare ourselves forward or backwards. Uh, if you notice, uh, it's more difficult for us to do things sideways than it is for us to do it forward or backwards. You know, it's, it's actually much easier. Uh, we tend to be kind of awkward if we try to do things sideways. We kind of skip instead of really having a fluid kind of motion. Uh, and actually, you could trip if you try to do a lot of things sideways. Or you're trying to do something quick sideways, you'll see that it's 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 harder than doing it uh, uh, backwards or forwards. But but anyway, the reason for for that, and we look at uh, uh, sauropods, uh, you know, giant you know giant dinosaurs. Uh, at the time that they existed, they had very large and flat and wide feet to support their weight. So from what we see here i think that they went that route they went they wanted to go into that reality of how his mechanics in terms of locomotion and how he would work as a bipedal creature with such weight and if you look at also at elephants elephants have also very wide uh, feet large and wide feet because it also deserves the weight because you got to think about the gravity is also working against us and our weight and gravity pulling down on it, it would take a great toll on our feet. If you notice larger people, they tend to have a lot of leg problems because of the weight that's being pushed down on their on their on their feet. If their feet would have been wider, the weight would have probably been distributed better and you would see that they probably wouldn't have bad knees like they do now because their legs are actually not big enough to hold that weight. In other words, not wide enough to hold the weight. So in this case, Godzilla's legs are very large. His feet are very wide. Uh, some people don't like it. I, I, I like it. I think it's a great idea to relate science to the reality. If we're going to put uh, Godzilla as real, as a, a reality, then you would need to apply true science into his reality. 
So um, I'm, I get it. Some people are looking for the classical Godzilla look. But remember, this is a new Godzilla. This is a new film in a new uh, revisioning of the creature, which I agree. I think that, you know, we saw Godzilla evolve through the years himself in the, in the motion pictures, uh, in the film. So why wouldn't he uh, evolve into something different for this film? Uh, I just wanted to talk about that, and I, I think it's a very interesting, interesting subject. And everybody has a right to their opinion in terms of if they like it or not. I'm not saying uh, that you have to like it. I just think that it's a great scientific view of it that I think that I'm seeing in there. I could be wrong, but uh, you know, I think that if science is going to be applied, like I said, then it would make sense for him to have such big legs and such wide feet to support his weight. Okay, I hope uh, that you guys like that idea and if you have any thoughts or comments or, you know, you know put them down below and let me know what you think also. Uh, it's a great subject, like I said, and we'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching. This is Damien for University.